Now, it's the time to discuss about the most common infection that is pneumonia and choice of antibiotics. Pneumonia. Pneumonia is a form of acute respiratory infection that affects the lungs. The lungs are made up of small sac-like structure called as alveoli which fill with air when a healthy person breathes. When an individual has pneumonia, the alveoli are filled with pus and fluid, which makes breathing painful and limits oxygen intake. Pneumonia are of two types, community-acquired pneumonia and hospital-acquired pneumonia. Community-acquired pneumonia is typically occurs in an individual residing in their home. Whereas hospital-acquired pneumonia, it occurs to the patient during the hospital stay. Community-acquired pneumonia is of two categories. First is typical community-acquired pneumonia. The fever is sudden, the chills can be seen in the patient, pleuritic chest pain and the main important thing is the productive cough. Usually seen in the age older than 50 years. Radiographic examinations usually show low bar or subsegmental infiltrate. Usually it is suspected by streptococcus pneumonia, haemophilus influenza, aerobic gram negative bacteria and staphylococcus aureus are also seen in the patients. Next moving on to atypical community acquired pneumonia. Here the it is composed of mild respiratory illness manifested by pharyngitis rhinoia, accompanied by, very importantly, the non-productive cough. Patients are frequently young than those with typical community-acquired pneumonia. Chest radiograph will show interstitial infiltrates instead of lobar or subsegmental infiltrate. The main Bacteria that mainly can be seen in this atypical type of pneumonia is Legionella species, Mycoplasma pneumoniae, Chlamydophila pneumoniae, frequently bacterial causes of atypical pneumonia. Viral infections such as influenza also cause this type of pneumonia. Optimal empirical therapy for community acquired pneumonia is based on common etiologic bacteria host predisposing factors and severity of illness. Let us study some of the empirical antimicrobial therapy for community acquired pneumonia. First moving on to the mild disease. In the case of outpatient therapy, if suppose the patient is previously healthy, that means they don't have any kind of risk factor for penicillin resistant streptococcus pneumonia. It can be started with an oral macrolid antibiotic that is either azithromycin, clarithromycin or erythromycin. Start be, uh, they can be started with the oral tetracyclines like doxycycline. Next, for the uh, patient who have risk factor for penicillin resistant streptococcus pneumonia, that is the patient um, uh, accompanied with asthma, alcohol abuse or the patient having COPD, diabetes mellitus, age above 65 or uh, they have used antibiotics within 3 months. So those all come under this category. Uh, you can either start with a monotherapy that is oral quinolone um, either with uh, moxif uh, moxifloxacin, levofloxacin, gemifloxacin or they can be given a combination therapy of oral beta-lactam and oral macrolid. In beta-lactam you can choose uh, amoxicillin or amoxicillin clavulonate or cefuroxime uh, along with the oral macrolid that is azithromycin, clarithromycin or erythromycin. Next, in case of moderately severe disease, that is if the patient is admitted to the hospital, they can be started with the monotherapy with the quinolones, that is either moxifloxacin or levofloxacin. Or they can be given a combination therapy of macrolid having azithromycin, clarithromycin or erythromycin, any of that you can choose. Along with that, a beta-lactam, either uh, cefotaxim, uh, ceftriaxone or high-dose amphicillin. In case of severe diseases, if the, that is if the patient is admitted to the ICU, we usually go for a combination therapy, which consists of beta-lactam, that is either uh, cefotaxim, ceftriaxone, high-dose amphicillin or salbactam plus either with a macrolid or anti-streptococcal quinolones. 
Macrolid you can mainly choose azithromycin as a drug of choice and in case of anti-streptococcal uh, quinolones you can go for either moxifloxacin or levofloxacin. If the patient is Pseudomonas serogenosa suspected, that is the patient who is having history of steroid use or broad spectrum antibiotic use, you can just add two anti-pseudomonal agents to that therapy. Or if the patient is uh, suspected with a methicillin resistant streptococcus aureus, then you need to add a glycopeptide uh, that is vancomycin as a drug of choice or linozolate can be used. One thing to keep in mind that quinolones and doxycycline should be avoided in small children. This was all about the community acquired pneumonia. About hospital acquired pneumonia, we will discuss in the upcoming videos. Thank you.